Can a probiotic for bees help to inhibit American fowl brood, the most devastating honeybee disease? Apparently, yes. Welcome to InsideTheHive.tv, the show that takes you into the world of bees. If you like bees and want to know more about them, please consider to subscribe and also hit the bell button so you don't miss a single video. BioPatty is a protein patty developed to potentially fight diseases. They got a lot of attention in 2018, even winning an honorable mention on Times Magazine uh, in a contest of the invention of the year. And very recently, they released a, a scientific article about the biopatty. American fall brood, without a doubt, is the most devastating honeybee disease ever. It's just for you to have a general idea when a young larvae is infected, they just melt it. It's very dangerous, it's very nasty. It can survive in nature for about 40 years. It is caused by a spore-forming bacteria called Panibacillus larvae. And in many countries, it is mandatory to destroy the honeybee hives when the disease is detected. In the previous video, I discussed the few trial experiments on, about the article. It's quite interesting and I advise everybody to look at that video. You, you can find the video right here. I think it's a good idea to watch that first and then come back here to watch the second one to, to have a full understanding of the article. The ability of a bacteria to fight other bacteria is well documented. The use of probiotic is well disseminated and there is evidence about the benefits of such approach. Humans and other animals already take advantage of probiotics and why not honeybees? Probiotics can keep bees healthier and also can help with the elimination of use of antibiotics in beehives which can contaminate honey and other bee products that can be a big problem in the beekeeping industry. So what happens when you put a special set of bacteria against the most devastating honeybee disease, American fowl brood, another bacteria? That's exactly what the researchers have done in the laboratory conditions now to try to understand the effect of the competition of these bacteria with the American fowl brood. The way they did was elegant. They first growed each bacteria individually, then filtered to eliminate the bacteria and collect only the media where they grow. It's called cell-free supernatant, CFS. After that, they grow American fall brood in presence of the CFS of each of these bacteria to see if there is any component in the supernatant that were able to interfere with the growth of American fall brood. You can see here that all lactobacillus CFS tested were able to inhibit the growth of American fall brood. A very interesting result that confirms results from studies in the past. But the researchers didn't stop there. They want to know if the combination of the three bacteria could stop or slow the progression of a real infection in larvae, in honeybee larvae. To do so, they grafted first insert honeybee larvae and put them in a six-well place like this one, supplemented with royal jelly preparation. One day later, they added the probiotics or a saline solution as a control. On the day two, they infected the larvae with American fall brood and the other groups added only the media where they grow American fall brood as a control. And they call that the vehicle. Then on day three after infection, they collected some of the larvae for analysis and on the day five, they decided to stop the experiment. When they look at the survival rate, they could see that the larvae that receive American fall brood without the pretreatment with probiotic had only 65% of survivorship. And interestingly, the larvae that were pretreated with probiotic had increased survivorship of around 85%, was almost the same rate of larvae that didn't receive the infection. The study is very complex and there is many other experiments that I did include in this video. They complement each other and because of the complexity of this experiment, I decided to take them off. Uh, my intent here is just to illustrate and bring awareness of this important study. 
In biology, everything is about balance, and beekeepers today, they're looking for silver bullets to solve their problems, and that's a problem. Beekeepers co come constantly to me asking, should I trust this? What do you think about that? Should I buy it? It is my personal opinion that the, the study is fascinating. Uh, however, I would like to see some follow-ups on that. I would like to see the experiments, other experiments to be more comfortable with things. For example, uh, the, exper the experiment with the infection in the larvae, uh, I think that was ve very well designed, but I would like to see the same experiment with more American fowl brood in it. If you set up an experiment that you for sure can kill 80% or more of the larvae with American fowl brood, I would like to see how, how effective it will be the combination of these three bacteria against American fowl brood. Also, there is a lot of questions in the air, like how long the effect lasts? What's the effect of these bacteria against other pathogens? What's the effect of these bacteria on the bees themselves in the long term? Those bacteria work the same way in different weathers or in different seasons. Uh, what's going to be the cost of the patty? All this information counts to make management decisions in beekeeping. Products are tools that need to be used with precision to achieve the, the desired uh, result. It is the job of the beekeeper to know if they need or not such products. General guide regarding products in beekeeping is one, do you need it? Uh, why? Why do you need it? And make sure you have a very good answer for that. Two, what's the metric of success? How do you know the product is working for you? Number three, What's the ROI, the return of investment? It's very easy to lose money in beekeeping today if you don't have your economics right. American fall brood is not a disease to mess around. It is very dangerous if you don't be very careful. You can not only lose your operation, but you can compromise lots of different operations around you. So there is a reason why there is a law in place to destroy the hives. So my, my biggest fear is to see beekeepers trying to use such bacteria to, instead of following the law. That could be dangerous. My advice is always to read more and more and do not take, get conclusions from a single article. Uh, this is one article I would like to see other people following up and confirming such results uh, and independently. Uh, other researchers use the same approach and get the same results that make things much, much stronger. Every single scientific article has pros and cons and we need to be patient. It is the accumulation of pieces of evidence that combine that seal the deal to establish a new truth. Click right here to see more videos on the channel. Click in the logo to subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching Inside the Hive.tv the show about bees. See you guys next week.